Hello, hello, hello. Let's see if this is working this time. Tried it a few minutes ago, but nobody was getting any volume on their end. So let's hope that we can hear me this time. Hello, honey. Thank you for tuning in. All right. So now we're live and I know that we're, <laughs> that everybody can hear me. Hello, Sarah. Sorry to everybody else that was on a few moments ago and uh, I ended up stopping the video. It's because nobody could hear me. So hello, Sue. Thank you for coming back and watching. <laughs> so it's Wednesday. And instead of doing an Instapot recipe, today we are going to make grilled cheese. And I know that, that sounds pretty simple to most people, but I was thinking about it because my daughter, uh, my youngest daughter, Marcy, is actually, uh, she lives out in BC and she's out on her own now and, or she's going to be soon. And she's, um, I was just thinking about other kids being out on, you know, on, out on their own and looking for some quick and easy recipes to, to fill their belly. <laughs> hello, Melissa. Hello, Myra. Thank you for tuning in today. And, um, so I was just thinking like, instead of just having a basic grilled cheese sandwich that I would spice it up a little bit and try something different. So I have all my ingredients here. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to start with my, my butter because I'm going to use some Latansia butter, or margarine, and I'm going to grab two, hang on a second here, there we go, grab two tablespoons, I'm going to use this butter, and I'm going to add some garlic to it before I spread it on my bread, just to give, so it'll be like a garlic bread toast. <laughs> Something fun and interesting. So because I don't want it to be overly garlicky, I'm going to go with three quarters of a teaspoon and I'm just going to throw that in there. Into that big spoon. And I'm just going to mix this up. I'm just like get my garlic spice incorporated into my butter. There we do. All right, and now I'm ready for my bread. Now, if you are like me, I don't uh, usually use the end of my breads when I use a loaf of bread. So today I'm just using my the soft slice by ooh, 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 Great House, and. I had the two end pieces, so the one the the end of your loaves of bread beginning and beginning and end. And what I did is I threw them, I crunched them all up or broke them all up, whatever you want to call it, and put them in the freezer right here. And I'm gonna throw these in the freezer because I'm gonna use these for a recipe for when I make like a French toast bake, or I can use it for um, stuffing um, if you're gonna be doing like a, a turkey or something like that. So. Now I already have, so I'm making us each two sandwiches. So I'm just gonna grab my mixed garlic butter. You can hear the puppies coming. <laughs> no puppies, this is not for you. All right, and I'm just going to turn my stove on and I've got it on six. And I'm going to add two slices to each one of my, each one of my breads. So just so you can see. And I'm going to slide you guys a little closer here. There we go. Now I want to spice it up just a little bit. Oh, it just blew up on me. Hang on a second. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, sh I overshook it. I shook it earlier and I shouldn't have shaken it a second time. <laughs> That's what happens to the sriracha sauce when you shake it too much. So I'm just going to add a drizzle of that sriracha because I don't want to overspice it. And then again, you're just going to use your garlic, your garlic butter. I'm off camera here. There we go. Use your garlic butter. And voila, now you have a brand new um, grilled cheese 
sandwich. Hello, Natasha. Hello, Lorena. Crystal, Jolene, hello everybody that's tuning in that I didn't get a chance to say hi to. <laughs> and that's it. So I get bored sometimes making, uh, where did that work? Making the same old, same old. So what I do is I find different ways to add a little flavor to my life. Now, if you don't like sriracha, don't put it on there <laughs> by any means. But another good... Um, ingredient that you could have that could be used in this recipe as well is bacon so you'd have like a bacon and grilled cheese sandwich instead and that's it now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for my stove to heat up so that I can fry these up and like always I will post pictures later and that's it so I hope that you enjoy I hope you try this recipe and we'll talk to you guys later oh and don't forget Tomorrow, my live cooking show will be at 9 a.m. because I'll be making homemade beans um, in the Instapot because that's what mom wants for lunch. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> Have a good one.